Hey, what up, everybody? <clears throat> Excuse me. Coming to you this morning with the what's next on Oscar Valdez, the WBO featherweight champion. Um, currently undefeated. He fought on Saturday, June 8th in the main event of an ESPN card. He took on uh, un undefeated but unknown J Jason Sosa. Scored a um, hard fought but deserving and convincing 12-round unanimous decision as he retained his title. Um, you know, he had to fight a little hard in that one, but not too hard. He seemed to have control of the fight the whole way, um, got the win. So the question now is what's next for the undefeated WBO champ? You know, he's an exciting fighter, and the 126-pound featherweight division has gotten better in terms of talent. Uh, you know, this, this was a division ruled by the PBC a few years ago. Some guys have moved up. Other guys have faded out. And now, and, and other guys have signed with uh, top rank. So Valdez has some pretty decent options going forward. But the favorite right now is a showdown with former two-division world champ Carl Frampton. Uh, Frampton's supposed to be coming back on ESPN Plus on August 10th. And after that fight, they're talking about a fight later in the year with Oscar Valdez for the WBO title. Valdez says he wants it. Frampton says he wants it. That's what it's looking like right now is going to be what's next for him. But there's other options out there. I think the better option is a unification bout with undefeated Josh Warrington. Warrington did not look as dominant in his last fight, just uh, last weekend against um, uh, Kid Galahad. He got a split decision victory there. I think right now, Valdez should pounce on that and try to add another world title. It might not be a bigger name, but Warrington beat Frampton last year. So it's not just about bigger names. He doesn't have as big a name, but... Uh, he's an undefeated world champion, as is Valdez, and I think that fight would make more sense to go unify belts. You know, that's um, that I think would make more sense, but it doesn't look like that's the direction that Top Rank and Carl Frampton are going in. But right now, Carl Frampton, because of how big a name he has, is can call the shots, and I think Valdez looks at Frampton as a beatable option, you know, and then possibly a unification next year, but I'd rather see it this year. But Warrington would be a second option. Uh, there's also Jesse Magdaleno, um, former 122-pound champion who just recently moved up to featherweight. He's uh, banging around there. There's Shakur Stevenson, undefeated world, uh, you know, undefeated contender, um, looking to throw his name in the mix. So maybe he becomes a good option for Valdez. And then there's also Isaac Dogbe, former world champ at 122, coming off a loss and wants to come up and is coming up to 126. Now this one seems pretty far-fetched considering uh dog bay has lost two straight fights i'm not sure if the wbo would grant him a world title shot but um you know i it wouldn't be the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard but does valdez really want a fight that's lost uh you know a fight where he's facing a guy that's lost two fights in a row so that's uh that's basically it i absolutely think it's going to be carl frampton next though as long as frampton wins in august and that's the what's next on Oscar Valdez, undefeated featherweight champ. True boxing, been hit with the truth.